Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. Now, the auction was this morning, at least it ended, the online auction, for the combine harvester and for the trailer. Now, I actually didn't win one of those two things, which was uh, a surprise actually. And you'll be even more surprised to hear that it was the trailer that I didn't win, but I did win the combine harvester. So more of that in a minute. Paul is just here, uh, looking after Bob. Hi Bob. Hi Paula. Hello. So yeah, I think what we will do is we'll go and pick up the uh, the combine, uh, just so you know exactly how much it cost me. Here we go. Let's just take a look here. Three thousand seven hundred pounds. So I think that's quite a surprise, really. It's much more impressive than I thought it was going to be. I thought I'd be paying like four and a half thousand. Anyway, um, yes, I'm going to go and uh, pick that up. So yeah, there you go. Paula is once again in a video. She's busy looking after Bob. So yeah, she does a very good job. Anyway, let's head off. Oh, and for those who are interested, the trailer went for £1,100. My maximum bid was 1000 So yeah, unfortunately I just lost out on that. So we'll just jump into here, we'll get it started up, and we will head over to the address which has been given to me. Now I'm actually surprised. I knew that it was fairly local because it said on Zoom bid that it was within five miles of the farm, but I didn't realise it was quite so local. It's actually, I think, next door to the uh, the dealership. Amazingly close. So really, not much of uh, not much of a drive for me. In fact, I could even walk. It would probably be better if I did walk. In fact, yes. Why don't I? I probably should do. I'll put this in here for now. I need to get a garage door sorted out as well. That's a, another job for my to-do list. And uh, yes, let's just go over here. So I have the money ready. £3,700. I just think that is so good. Um, unless it's faulty. But they say good work in order. Or sold as seen, actually. But uh, even so, I'm not really expecting anything amazing here. But it just sounds like a, a decent all-round machine. Yeah, that's it. Turbine Grain, that was the address. So, there it is. In fact, I think it's in the same position as where it was on Zoombid. They haven't even moved it. So, I'll go and try and find somebody, and we'll uh, we'll pay for it and get it transported back over to the farm. Is there anybody around? Right, okay. I'm now a bit poorer. Well, quite a bit, quite a lot poorer. Uh, but £3,700 has now left the bank account. Very nice people here. They say that they haven't really done too much with the Combine Harvester, but they think it's all fully working, and to be honest, it actually does look all very good. Uh, you can see the paintwork is fantastic. Uh, they don't think the header is original to the machine, and, well, I suppose, yeah, when you look at it, it is a slightly different shade of red. It's almost like an orange. So, um, they say it all works, though. They say it works fine. So, anyway, let's take it back. Obviously, I've got nothing to harvest just yet, but um, yeah, as soon as we do... This is going to be very useful. Here we go. Right, well, it seems relatively easy to drive. Ah, look, it's the dealership. Not buying stuff from them. Very expensive. Although, no, I will be buying stuff from them again. It's just auctions are... Well, they can be. They can be a better way of buying things. Not as expensive. It would be actually quite interesting, although they probably, they're probably aware of the... Uh, turbine grain people owning this machine but if I took it over to them wanting a price for it it would be interesting to see what they'd give me for it probably off like £1,500 then they'll probably sell it for like £8,000 um, but you know it all seems to work, the dials work so uh, so far so good yeah one thing which I didn't really think about was where to put it I don't really have anywhere. And I still need to get a trailer. I still need to buy a trailer. I think what I'll do is I'll keep an eye out on Zoombid and try and see if I can see something in my price range. At the moment, money is a bit of an issue again uh, because I've bought this. But at least I do have this. If I was leasing a machine, it would be money down the drain, really. But yeah, um, I seriously need to sort out this yard. I'm going to probably do the yard tomorrow, I think. Uh, I think if I rip out this hedge just here we'll put a bit of, well we'll probably just um, till the ground here to begin with and then eventually we'll put some gravel down and then it's just going to allow me to have a bit more space around here but I suppose if I was just to put this and the mower in this bay 
That would free up this bay for the combine. As long as it would clear the top, oh, it should do. It should be for. Oh no! What does Dennis want? <sighs> okay, Dennis, what do you want? Dagwin, I have bales to move. Can't he do it himself? I suppose he is paying me a bit of money. Okay, well, um, I'll have to head over there in a minute then. But uh, yeah, quickly, let's get these moved. Okay, right, there we go. So that has freed up this bay. Uh, it's all a bit cramped over there, but yeah, it's fine. If it means everything's undercover, then it's worth it. So let's get this thing moving again, and we'll put it in the end bay. Uh, the visibility is quite good. Now I think you could actually get these 620s with or without a cab, and this is obviously the one with a cab, which is very nice, because I did have a, a common harvester without a cab over at Letton, and it was not a very nice experience. I was absolutely covered in dust. It, co it comes up off the header, right into your face so having the uh, the cab is a, a necessity really well there we go I think there is a bit more space around the back but it doesn't really matter if we don't go all the way to the back yeah I wouldn't want to go through so yeah if it sticks out a bit it's fine but there we go we really are now growing this farm shame I have to repay the mortgage two and a half thousand pounds it's not going to be an issue uh, because I actually have spoken to Trevor again he doesn't want all the bells yet but he does want a few more probably tomorrow so if I have to wait until tomorrow to pay the mortgage, that is fine. Right then, Dennis. Oh, Dennis, let's go and um, sort out your, your bales. This must be the patch of grass which I cut yesterday. Oh, before I go, do you want to see his vlog? Well, I call it a vlog. It's more like an, an attempt at vlogging. Can't believe he actually uploaded it. Here we go. Have a good chuckle at this. Hey up, viewers. Now, in this vlog... I'm going to be moving some bales. If you don't like it, you can clear off. Right, onto the tractor. Now, this thing gives me a bad back. Into gear. Let's get this first bale lifted off. Whoa! Oh, blimey! I thought that was the clutch. <laughs> oh, dear. Well... Is there any wonder why he's asking me to move the bells for him? Okay, let's go. Um, I think I'll take the gator. I'm quite happy using his tractor. Saves taking my tractor over there. I think also I should probably mention to Dennis that if you want to have people watching your vlog, it's probably not best to say clear off if you don't like it. I'm just saying. Anyway, let's go. Let's go and help him out. Clearly he is in need. And, well, maybe he should take that video down. It just makes him look a bit foolish. But I am looking forward to the next one. The Adventures of Dennis Jenkins. So I think the oat harvest is probably going to be in about a week's time, maybe two weeks' time. So as soon as we have the oats ready, it does mean that I'm going to be able to not only get some feed for Bob. He does have feed, but yeah, it just saves buying more. Um, but most importantly, or maybe just as importantly, we're going to get some straw. And Bob really does need straw, because I've never actually given him any, and he should have it. It's only fair. So it's going to be nice to be able to have... I'm sure it's getting deeper, that bump. It's going to be nice to have some access to straw without buying it. Look at that, it's a massive dip. Yeah, he needs to repair his track just like I need to repair mine, but very soon, most likely tomorrow, mine is going to be fixed. Now, where's Dennis got to now? Let's just go and see. See if he's in the house. Hey, hey up, Dagwin. Dennis, I've seen your vlog. Very good, very good, very uh, funny. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, Dagwin. I haven't published any vlog yet. Still working on it. Uh, no, Dennis, you have actually published a 30 second clip. You've called it Vlog 1. Oh, no. I must have clicked publish. I think you did. Anyway, you might want to take that down. It was a good laugh, though. Anyway, um, you have some bales to move? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, the field of bales. Can you get them put into storage? Yeah, can do. Right, okay, let's go. Let's jump back into the gator. And we will go and fire up his Ferguson. I kind of thought that he wasn't supposed to publish it, but then again... It was kind of the sort of video which would do well, you know, <laughs> you know when a video does well. Oh, blind! what's he been doing? He has mounted the barn. Oh, 
trying to take his shed down. Okay, well, I'll put this over here. Oh, wow, he has... Who's done that, then? I haven't done that. He's already got it all bailed up. Right, well, he's way ahead of me, somehow. Uh, does he want them in here? It's probably best if we do put them in there. Dennis, goodness me. He hasn't damaged that, has he? Right, well, I have unhooked the tractor from the shed. So we can now start to move these bales. I just don't know who he's, who's done this. I don't know if he's done it himself, but he's certainly done it very quickly. The thing is, it's a bit of a slow job with this, because it means that we have to do one bale at a time, because he's just using this sort of pallet fork attachment. One, two, three, four, five, six. He got six bales out of that small area. I am impressed. It was worthwhile after all. And you could almost say this is going to be for winter, although it is quite uh, near to the front of the shed, so they're at risk of being rained on. Actually, would it be, probably would be better to put them in this shed over here. Yeah, he's got loads of space. That would be a much better idea. Okay, well, I will get this done. We'll get the whole field cleared. It's probably about a 20-minute job. But I think this back corner is a much more sensible place to put these because they are just exposed in that open fronted shed there we go right let's get it done Right, the final bale, and I'm just really taking the view. I think this is a very pretty area. Uh, possibly even prettier than the land around my farm. I know we're only down the road, but it does seem like a nice place. It's got a better view. I've sort of got a view of the trees, which is nice, but you don't really get the view of the landscape. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know what Dennis is going to do. I think he should probably get some more feed troughs down here and get his sheep to expand a bit. They all stay up there, because that's where the feed is, I suppose. Talking about feed, I should probably give them on those other bales while we're here. I'll take a quick look. The uh, thing is, uh, over at my farm, there's not much we can do at the moment, because we just have to wait for the crop to grow. Everything has been fertilised. I don't think we're going to be doing another application. I think everything is as good as it can be. We've got no weeds, which is nice. So, it's a bit of a waiting game. Just waiting for the crops to ripen. Ah, now he actually does have quite a few crates here. This is going to be moved, I think. We're going to have to move these. I thought Paula would have done that, but maybe she didn't know where to put them, because uh, no one's really told anyone anything. Uh, yeah, so they do have some feed, but that is going to have to be filled up. I'll go and grab one of the older bales, because we need to get through them first. And water seems to be fine. No issues there. So, just give it a quick top up. There we go. Now, Dennis obviously doesn't say anything. He's he doesn't do much, he just mostly sits in his house. So we're sort of in charge of figuring things out. And I think probably the best place to put those pallets so that he can uh, arrange collection of them, or if he's going to deliver them himself, I'm not too sure, it would probably be here, I would say. Make a nice neat pile. All this work is inclusive um, of £300, which I get paid every week from Dennis for doing this. So it's not a huge amount per week, but I don't have to do that much. So that's quite good. So we'll grab a bale, then we'll come back and we'll move all of those and we'll put them in the shed, ready for whatever. Whatever he decides to do with them. Maybe he doesn't even realise he has to sell them. Or maybe he's got to keep them until the price is really high. I have no idea. So yeah, we have these bales, which, well actually the bales which Dennis crashed into. They're the older ones. So we'll get them put into the feed trough first. I think I'll give two of those to them. Not too sure if this tractor will be able to handle two. Yeah, it's a little bit too heavy. No point risking it. Especially as this tractor doesn't have a raw bar. So I would prefer to keep it fairly stable. I'm going to be spending most of the day here, I think. 
Right then, sheep. Bit of extra feed for you. Thing is, though, at this time of year, the grass is growing so quickly. Ah, nice and neat. Not too much food being spilt this time. There we go. And the second bale. That'll be enough for today. There we go. Good. Now for the pallets. And the final one. So there is now space for more wool to be put into different crates. And yeah, that should be good enough for a few days because they are they're not gonna be producing the wool forever. Been shearing recently, and then they'll be growing their winter coats again later in the year. So I'm just gonna put this one in the shed. Uh, I don't think he'll get that much more this year but I don't know for sure. Right, so that's quite a neat stack. Um, and then obviously the space in the future to put two more up here. Try and get them as close as possible. And there we go, Ooh, almost. And there we go, right. So, Dennis's wall. I'll go and tell him that's all done. And the wall is ready to be sold whenever he's ready. He might be waiting for the price to be even better, because at the moment it's not necessarily any good. Oh, and I'll park this tractor in a slightly different way to how he parked it. Like, you know, level and not climbing a shed. I'll uh, close the door, turn the lights off, otherwise his electricity will be climbing. He'll get very angry about that. Uh, he's got loads of money, but he, yeah, he likes to keep his money. Then again, I think I'd be mad if somebody <laughs> left all the lights on and cost me a fortune. Then again, they're just lights. But you get the idea. So, uh, yeah, let's head down there. He's probably vlogging right now. Hopefully we don't disturb him. I really do look forward to this vlog. Especially as the first thing that we've seen wasn't actually a proper vlog, apparently. It was one of his uh, attempts. Attempt number one. Although, yeah, knowing Dennis, it was probably attempt number 300. Has he gone out? Oh no, he's part of the uh, pickup truck just there. All done, Dagwin. All done, Dennis, yep. I've uh, stacked up your, your bales and also I've uh, moved your wool pallets into the shed to keep them dry, ready for sale. Eh, hey, I am impressed. Well, here's your payment. Ooh, <laughs> early payment from Dennis. I must have done something right. Well, that's 300 extra pounds anyway. He's probably removed it by now, but if you are interested in seeing Dennis's vlog, um, then I'll put a link down below in the description. He might have removed it, but either way, you'll be able to find his channel, so yeah, that would be the official Dennis channel. Be kind to him though. Right, okay, so I think that is going to be pretty much it for today because, well, Paul has done everything here for me, which is great, fantastic. Uh, and obviously I've been doing that for Dennis, we've picked up the Combine Harvester. For those of you who were wondering how much I pay Paul, I do pay every week, but it's actually between the vlogs. Uh, you will notice that we don't actually have £1,500 more between one week's vlogs and the next week's because I have deducted her payments from that. So uh, yeah, that is where the money is coming from and that's where it's leaving from. Or leaving time it leaves. Thank you so much for watching everybody and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.